Hey there, Alicia here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at two different solutions for when we wanna to toggle our labels on and off in Tableau. So here's the first example I have for you. We've got a worksheet here with a bar chart and a line chart. And I can separately toggle on and off the labels on my bar chart, which is representing sales, and then toggle on and off the labels on my line chart, which is representing just sales plus 20%. So let's take a look at how we built this. So I already have my chart made here. And in order to create that toggle and be able to change those labels, the first thing I need to do is I need to create a couple of parameters. So I'm gonna click on my drop down here, create a parameter. I'm gonna create two different parameters for each of the toggle options. So the first one will just be, um, do we wanna show the sales? And I'm gonna make that a Boolean parameter. And then I'm gonna change my aliases from true and false to yes and no. And then what I can do is I can actually duplicate that so that I have my second parameter pretty quickly and easily here. So I'll duplicate that second parameter and this is gonna be the one specifically that's gonna set up the toggle to be able to show the sales plus 20%. So I'll go ahead and right click on that, edit the field. So now that I have both of those parameters, I can go ahead and show the parameter controls. And now what I need to do is I need to create two different calculated fields so that I can use those calculated fields on the label marks card. Actually, first I want to change the display of this to be a single value list. All right, so our two calculated fields, uh, pretty straightforward here. We'll go to that little drop down caret to start our new calculated field. The first one will be just the calculated field that again is going to ultimately impact the uh, parameter and our ability to toggle. So this will be the show sales calculated field. And what we need to say is uh, if our parameter is true, so if our show sales parameter is true, then what we need to do is display our sales values. So that is all that is really to that calculated field. What we also wanna tell Tableau is that if the parameter is not true, uh, in other words, if the person did not say yes, to display null. Uh, in other words, don't display anything. So I've got our first calculated field here. And now I'll make a second one so that I can display the information for the sales plus 20%. So again, pretty easy way to do that is just to duplicate it and then to edit this new calculated field. So this will be my show sales plus 20%. And then here I need to both change which parameter it's um, going to be referencing and then also the value of the field uh, for what's gonna be shown there. So this is my uh, show sales plus 20% parameter. And you see I have a couple of other examples here that are already in the workbook. And then for that, I wanna display the specific field of the amounts for sales plus 20%. So now that I have both of these calculated fields, what I can now do is add each of them to the label marks card for their respective chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bar chart here, and I'm gonna drag that first calculated field of show sales onto label. And what I'll also do is actually change the formatting for that, so I want that to be a currency. So I'm going to click on that field, go to default properties, number format, and select currency custom, and change it to zero decimal places. And then what I can do is open up this uh, third marks card here for the line chart. And same thing now, I'm going to drag that calculated field onto label. And now again, I want to be able to have that formatting change just a little bit. So now that we have our calculated fields that again are referencing those parameters, that's key. Now I have that capability to now turn on and off my labels for each of the different parts of my chart here. So that's all well and good, and this will work very well when you are working with the two different measures here as we have, you see on rows, using that dual access and the two different measures here enables me to have those separate cards where I can then have separate labels on each of them. 
What happens though, is that I'm working, if I am working with three different measures, for example, and I have two different line charts and a bar chart, if I try to recreate the same type of uh, capability, it doesn't work very well. So what's gonna happen is that I can toggle my labels on my bar chart, no problem. But when I'm trying to toggle separately for my two different line charts, it doesn't work out so well. So you can see here, this is not, uh, not gonna work for us because it's showing the same exact amounts for both line charts. And it is showing, if I've got both of my toggles on yes, it's showing both uh, amounts uh, for both line charts. And the reason this happens is because in order to create this particular chart, I had to use measure values here. And when we are using measure values, we can't put those into calculated fields. We can't ask Tableau to kind of reference uh, just one of the fields in measure values and to behave differently for one line chart versus the other. So if I tried to take that same kind of approach where I've got you know, the, the different fields, again, no problem when I'm working with the labels for my bar chart, but when I'm working with measure values, if I'm trying to do that same type of thing of just having uh, different fields for my sales plus 20% versus my sales plus 40%, it just doesn't work. So what has to happen instead is that in order to get the correct labels on each of those line charts, I actually have to use measure values on my label marks card for that. And that's going to then display the correct amounts for each of the lines. But what that means then is that, again, I can't actually reference and toggle those particular labels on and off because I can't use measure values in a calculated field. So I can't really create a calculated field that references a particular parameter for that. So what is our workaround for this? What I have built here is instead of having just labels turning on and off for one particular line chart, uh, what I've decided to do is go ahead and set it up so that I can actually toggle the labels for both line charts on and off, uh, and again, do that separately for my bar charts. So how did I do that? What I did was instead of using that method, uh, method one that we just saw, I used a different method of actually swapping out the sheets and building two separate charts that had the labels on in one and had the labels off in the other. So if I, for example, take this chart that we've already created here, we correctly have measure values on labels so that we can display our labels accurately. If I duplicate this worksheet, uh, two times just to uh, again show you how this works uh, what I'll do is I'll name this first duplication labels on and then my second duplication labels off and I can keep my labels on sheet uh, with my measure values on the label marks card I'll go to my labels off sheet open up that measure values card and I'll just take those labels right off there so I've got two different versions of my worksheets and now I can swap out different worksheets. In order to do that, I'm going to create another new parameter and another new calculated field to get that done. So first thing to do, click on my dropdown here, create a parameter, and this one will be whether we are showing the uh, labels on the line charts. And again, I wanna make that a Boolean parameter. And again, I'm gonna change my uh, aliases to yes and no. Now that I have my new parameter, the next step is to create a new calculated field that just references the parameter, that's it. So this is my calculated field of whether I wanna show labels on the line charts. And the only thing I have to do is put that parameter into this calculated field. So I just have to find the correct one. <laughs> Here it is. All right, so that's it. I just put my parameter in that calculated field, click OK. Here's my new calculated field. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that to the filters card and I'm gonna select true and click OK. 
And then for my labels off, I'm going to, uh, again, drag that onto my filters card, but first I have to change it to the false value. So let's go ahead, show that parameter control, change it to the single value list again, select no, drag that same calculated field onto filters, now select false, click OK, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these together into a single dashboard. So I'm gonna start a new dashboard and I'm going to change the size of that slightly. And then what I need to do is actually use a container and put both of these worksheets into the same container and then do a couple of additional things for formatting. So I'm gonna drag in a vertical container and then what I'm gonna do is drag in the labels on worksheet I don't need all of these particular parameters, so I'll delete those out. And then I'm going to drag in my labels off worksheet and put it into the same container, okay? So again, I'm getting a couple of extra uh, parameter controls here that I can delete out. I can also delete out the measure names uh, card here. So now the final step is to hide the titles of each of these worksheets. So I'm gonna right click on the title, hide title, right click on the other title, hide that title. So both of them are in the same container here now. And you'll notice that my toggle for my labels on my line chart is no. I change it to yes, there they are, labels show up. Because this is in the same container, it's just swapping out the charts within that same container. So that's how we're able to now make that uh, update and we're able to show both of the labels labeled correctly when we're using measure values. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please subscribe to this channel if this has been helpful and follow us and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.